Here we are with Call of the Night episode 11. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. Oh, she got a bad. Hmm. Made work pays off. Pays good, I guess. <laughs> of course. Wow. So she does two jobs now, maid and the cuddle thing. <laughs> Oh, code? Is this a code on the roof from the picture that I have here? It's a girl? Is it? But on the picture, I think it looks like she has a... He, she, it has a head. <laughs> Are you hitting on me? <laughs> and the color is so interesting here. <clears throat> yeah, I think that could be maybe from this picture, which is from you on this side. <laughs> It could be, I guess. I mean, this is the first person with the code we see in this series, so. Could be. So we will see what that is all about. Who that person is. I mean, she's not here in the intro. <clears throat> so. I mean, everyone else is in this intro, right? Except her. So maybe it's someone that is not on our side. Maybe vampire hunters, like having a code. God damn. She's just playing him? Teasing him? <laughs> yeah, right. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
She's interesting. Fee. Private detective, okay, not a vampire hunter. I mean, <clears throat> maybe she is, but well, there's no reason to say some something like that, right? I'm a vampire hunter. Maybe just a detective. I mean, she looks like a detective, I would say. I don't know, I guess it's just this cliche where you think like, oh, has a coat, must be a detective. Or could be a detective. Oh. That's our boy, right? Yeah, that's him. Money. Oh, God damn. I wouldn't mind if it's her. <laughs> hmm. But I mean, at this point, at this point, Ak Akiyama is. <laughs> At this point, Akiyama is a vampire, so. That's all she needs. Oh. I still think it might be a vampire hunter. I mean, if we have vampires, then there must be some people that hunt them, right? Oh, she's also here. Wow. School? In school. Fun in school. Mm hmm. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> By coincidence? I mean, I guess so, because we see often in anime that students go into school at night and shit, right, and can just walk in. Seems like it's never locked up. Is 
Seven School Mysteries. <laughs> Imagine someone answers. It's occupied. Come back later. <laughs> Own that is. Okay, I doubt it. We will see. And now there's a different person. <laughs> Oh, it's <laughs> they're shitting their pants. <laughs> is this like a teacher that is here for some re Okay, that's weird. <clears throat> Holy shit, what's going on? What the fuck? <laughs> Is he a vampire? Yes, thanks. Vampire girl, uh, detective girl, maybe coming in. Holy shit, he smacked him with the chair like crazy. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. I think this was the first male vampire we saw, right? Maybe. What the fuck was this about? If he's not a teacher or like a janitor or whatever, why would he be in school? Yeah, he is not. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. He said he restrained himself, right? Maybe he didn't consume any blood and that what happens? Maybe the blood keeps them young? Or something? <clears throat> there she is, and the color shift. <laughs> Holy shit. I guess she's a vampire hunter. Huh. 
this looks so good. Yeah. Oh, they can't see the veins. What? Does she have something in her blood or something? I missed that part, what he said. Damn, for 10 years? I'm confused. <clears throat> Is she a vampire hunter and kills vampire or not? Silver ring? We saw that Nazana was in sunlight, right? So she didn't dissolve like this. Why does it happen to him? Maybe caused by holding a silver ring or something? Oh, that was him, actually.
Your idiotic dream, does she know what he wants? Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But man, <clears throat> this episode was crazy. Um, first of all, I loved how when the detective was around, the color and everything just shifted completely to a more like noir style, I would say, right? <clears throat> like more like bleached out colors. Like, I don't know, like, uh, yeah, it, 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 the colors like went down the contrast and everything, right? Which I think was very interesting. <clears throat> um, I like her design. Um, but yeah, so she's not a vampire hunter, which I thought. Um, she's a detective that also deals with vampires if it comes up. But that's not the main objective of her job, right, as a detective. And she's looking into Akun, Akun, whatever. <clears throat> I guess because he became a vampire? So maybe he went missing in the... Because since he became a vampire, maybe he now went missing from home, right? Because maybe because he's a vampire, he can't live with his parents anymore. And so maybe the parents are looking for him. So maybe that's why she's looking into the situation, right? Um, <clears throat> and then, yeah, um, after that, Ko went to Nozanoth. And the detective, what was her name? I forgot. Let me, let me check. Uh, uh, where is it? Uh, Anko, Anko, Ugu, Gisu, Gisu? I don't know. Uh, let's say Anko, Anko, Anko. Um, and yeah, um, after Cole went to Nazana, I didn't realize it when I watched the episode, but. She, I think she was in front of the building where Nazana lived, so she followed him around, and then she said that was a bigger catch than I thought. <clears throat> so I guess she maybe knows about Nazana being a vampire, and because Ko hangs out with Nazana, um, and based on how Ko reacted at the end of the episode, um, because he's not opposed to vampires really, and it's like, yeah, good that he dies, or that he died, um, she said, I don't let you achieve your idiotic dream so i guess she figured out that he wants to become a vampire too um i guess um which i think is interesting that i mean yeah i guess it makes sense right i would say it's interesting that she thinks that it is his dream right when he could maybe just know nazna but not know that she's a vampire but i guess she figured out that he is not opposed to vampires right so i guess he knows what is going on i would assume and then yeah, this episode is very interesting because we now saw a vampire that the first male vampire That didn't really know that he is a vampire. He just had this urge to drink blood But he didn't do it for like 10 years and basically went missing for it and was at his limit and was about to die And I guess if he, if vampires don't drink blood <coughs> Then they just Get older right like normal humans and just die I guess at some point Kind of like starvation, right? Just that it takes a long time, it seems like. Um, and so... So yeah, I guess the blood keeps them young, right? Obviously, it seems like that. And yeah, I was confused when he bit her uh, uncle and sucked the blood. That I, I thought like maybe something is in her blood that is like bad for vampires because he choked on it. But it was just that for him it tasted bad. Which I think means he never really, yeah, like they said, he never really drank blood for 10 years. So for him, it was completely unusual. And so maybe it doesn't taste good. Maybe at first it doesn't taste good. But if you do it a few times, maybe then it starts to taste better or something. I don't know. Or maybe if you are just not, maybe if you become a vampire, then maybe it tastes good, right? 
but if you don't drink any blood as a vampire for like a long period of time and you get like unused to it basically and you grow old like him then maybe it becomes really like disgusting or something or it doesn't taste good at all <clears throat> so could be multiple reasons why it didn't taste good maybe because he was just not used to it because he didn't drink any blood or maybe because um he or maybe because it's for all vampires like that that if you don't drink blood for a long time that it starts to not taste good anymore <clears throat> and yeah i was confused about the ring was it a silver ring and that silver in this world is also bad for vampires like in other mediums i guess Va silver is bad right was it just werewolves or was it also vampires that silver is bad for i guess vampires too right and werewolves <clears throat> so i guess it was maybe a silver ring maybe that makes him like more human if maybe if a vampire gets in touch with the silver ring maybe it hurts him and makes him maybe more human more vulnerable right and maybe that's why the sun the morning sun burned him to ashes basically or vaporized him whatever because like i said i think we saw nazuna in sunlight right and she was fine we saw her at the morning hours when she when she kissed ko for the first time and i think that was the only time <laughs> um we saw her that was the morning hours and the sun came already out and she was fine we saw her after the night with akira where they slept together the morning sun came out and she was fine um so yeah i guess maybe just if maybe if they don't drink blood maybe they can become like less resistant to sunlight or something right that they that sun can actually hurt them and kill them basically or maybe if they are in touch with the silver ring maybe so yeah this will be very interesting man <clears> that <throat> we get this now basically at the end of the season almost we have two more episodes left and now it basically starts to really get interesting with the detective and everything right oh boy but yeah overall like very interesting episode to see this perspective too right i mean obviously there are people that go after vampires too right i mean if there are vampires then there must be people that know about them and hunt them or something right it's not really hunting because they don't actually go on hunts and just look for vampires like she said she does some other stuff but if a vampire comes up then she deals with them right but yeah i'm very interested about the part where she said i'm sorry but i have no intention of letting you achieve your idiotic dream because that would mean that she has to actively go after ko right otherwise how can she how can she uh, prevent that from happening, right? If she just let him go freely. Um, so yeah, will be very interesting to see the next two episodes, what will happen. Because also we have like three more vampires that we didn't have an episode with. Um, which is the MILF. <laughs> uh, the older one that brought, that took Ko from Sherry and brought him to the other vampires, that one. The one with the red hair, which is like the most popular one, I think they said, and the one that was sitting next to um, Midori from last episode. With the longer hair, I think so. Yeah, there are three more, or two, only two more episodes, so it will be interesting if we see them or not. But yeah, I guess that's it for the episode. Very interesting, I loved it. And can't wait for more, obviously. I guess when this anime is over, I really have to... If they don't announce if they don't announce a season two immediately or like a few days after or something then i think i really have to start reading the manga because i'm so invested in this but yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say thanks for watching until next time bye bye